On the previous Primal Pursuit adventure, I travelled to the remote Solomon Islands in a four-part series, diving and exploring this beautiful remote part of the world where lush forest backdrops onto pristine waters. We hunted the famous dog-toothed tuna with great success, hunting species such as Spanish mackerel, coral trout, giant trevally and so much more. Now, back in New Zealand, I'm hunting for the famous yellowtail kingfish, world famous in New Zealand, growing the largest anywhere in the world. I head off on a solo mission to a remote piece of coastline and find the most extraordinary sights I've seen while diving. Thousands upon thousands of fish, big sharks, big yellowtail kingfish, stick around for the action. Well, good morning everyone. Welcome to another adventure. Welcome to the channel if you're new. We're going spearfishing today. We're in New Zealand. It's the tail end of winter, absolute mint day. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, for a nice big fat yellowtail kingfish. I'm pretty confident we'll at least see some. Sun's just rising up. Let's go. some birds working so we're not going to muck around we're going to get straight into it wetsuit on i left the house at 3 30 this morning so i can get here early and get straight into it uh, outgoing tides so we should start getting a bit of current pushing get the bait fish working it's the winter months generally if you find the kingfish they are quite large full of fat very good size hopefully it's on so let's do it place is just absolutely buzzing with birds everywhere dolphins just underneath me wow it is all go it's a bit green but it looks very fishy so just gonna look for the hot spot where the fish are getting worked up to the surface and we're gonna jump in gun to connect it to the boat and drift off Woo! dolphins right here Woo all right Look at all these birds, crazy. Woo! Those are huge dolphins. Big pot of them. Never get tired of seeing dolphins, awesome creatures. Diving down, the place is absolutely alive. I've never seen so many fish in one area in my life. Vast schools of large koheru, kahawai, trevally, everything in the mix. And as I sink down onto the reef here, I'm just engulfed in these beautiful schools of fish. Absolutely incredible. I am here to hunt the 
yellowtail kingfish though so I'm not trigger happy I'm just enjoying the moment and being patient when there's this many fish around there has to be some larger predators nearby diving back down again sinking into these schools I'm literally sitting on the reef floor here being patient and waiting for the curious kingfish to come in and feel my vibe feel my presence hopefully come close enough so I can send a spear through the fish after spending a few weeks in the warm tropics the cold water is a shock to the system, but I'm not complaining with this incredible, incredible scene. Something out of a David Attenborough documentary. Then the fish dart, and I know what that means. A predator is nearby. Look up, and there's a large yellowtail kingfish hunting the reef. I act disinterested, look around, hopefully for a shot, but the fish is darting around the reef and I can't get close enough. That's a big fish around 25 kilos. Great signs. And then I look down, there's a pack of kingies, five or six, but I've run out of breath, I need to get to the surface. A quick breathe up, I'm looking around for these fish, but they're on the move, they're hunting, and that was my chance, missed. Not a worry. There has to be more, I'm sure I'll get another opportunity. The tide is pushing, moving, a lot of current, and the visibility is starting to change. The water's getting murkier, a bit more greener, but the fish are here, that's the main thing. So patience is the key. Just sitting midwater here, conserving my breath hold, looking for any fish darting, a sign of a predator, any larger shapes. The famous yellowtail kingfish is the goal, and I'm gonna get one. Above the water, the scenes are incredible. Thousands of birds working the surface in tandem with the kingfish below, which are bringing up fish to the surface. You can see the kahawai feeding here actively on krill, absolutely incredible.
far out, this is crazy. There's so many fish. Woohoo! Awesome. I've been patient, diving down to the reef, holding my breath, waiting for a yellowtail kingfish, time and time again, and then, finally, I get my chance. I notice the shapes of a few kingfish that have moved in below, there's four or five nice kingies, and I make the duck dive. Have to be calm here not to scare the fish away they're curious fish so i need to act calm at the same time eyeing up the largest fish but also the best fish which i can get a clean shot into there's some big bronze whaler sharks in the area i've got no dive buddy support so i need a good clean shot when i have the chance I lose sight of the school of kingies, but I know they're close, I know they're nearby, so just keep diving this little area here, hoping for them to show again. Suddenly, the kingfish show themselves again. I dive down into the green, gloomy murk, it's getting dirtier, the current's pushing. wait for the right opportunity, line this fish up, and I've got a good, clean shot. Right behind the pectoral fin, excellent holding shot. The fish is definitely hurt, but as with all kingfish, these guys fight hard and the fish takes off down to the reef, trying to bust me off, rip the spear out. I make it to the surface, a fresh gulp of air, and it's time to play this fish. I'm on a real gun, so it's up to me to fight this fish on the line. No support, no help. But I've heard the fish. And after a few minutes, I finally get the fish closer to the surface. You can see the discoloration here of the fish. I've definitely nipped the spine, if not gone right through it. It's a good shot, a good holding shot. Bronze whaler shark moves in, it can smell struggle, it can smell blood, it can smell a free feed, but I get the fish into my arms and I've landed a yellowtail kingfish. Not a giant, but definitely a nice fish. Awesome. Well, here it is, the kingy. Not a bad fish, probably around 15 kilo. Reasonably fat. It's quite a long, skinny fish, but um, yeah, good holding shot there. A few shooter kingfish here. Yeah, very, very, really gonna lose it if the shaft goes through the, through the other side. This top half here is nice, tough, strong flesh. Hit it there in the guts, it's gonna rip out. Hit it through there, and if it doesn't get sharks, you've got a good chance of landing one. So, yeah, stoked, beautiful fish. We'll get that in the icy tech on ice and get it cooled down. Look at these birds out here. Big school of bait fish, Trevally, Kahawai, Koheru. I'm gonna jump back and see what else is going on. This is crazy. Woo! -hoo! Look at that. Wild scenes. <laughs> Woo!
Well, that was very, very fun. Unbelievable fishy scenes. Just come back from overseas, traveling around the tropics, if you've seen the Solomon and Fiji videos. And uh, going from 29, 30 degree water to 15, 16, I think it was saying on my watch. Um, big jump in temperature. Yeah, very cold, change of water. And New Zealand, we don't have as many species as overseas, but geez, you can't complain about those scenes. What we do make up for it is in, um, in fish numbers, fish stocks. And there's not many places where you'll see scenes like that around the world. That was just incredible. I was just sitting down there, just immersed in that school of fish. Unbelievable. It's all gone really quiet, apart from these birds. Um, so yeah, I'm freezing, time to get out. Got that kingy. You wouldn't mind one trevally or kawaii as well, so I'll see what my fishing skills are like. It's just getting too cold in there. And then um, I'm pretty keen to hunt for some craze, so yeah. Ooh. Just honing along and the dive flag flew out the corner. Just connected to a uh, well my spare shaft, which I don't have a spare shaft either now. Um, and I quickly turned around, went over, jumped overboard in my weight belt. I was sitting on the end of it, it got caught as I jumped over the weight belt, flew off and yeah, everything just sunk to the bottom. So um yeah, don't know what I'm gonna do now. I've got my fishing rod. I was really keen on hunting some craze. Um, that's going to be very hard without a weight belt, and I don't have a spare one. Hmm. Bugger. Well, being so much fish in the area, I was able to float around and shoot fish from the surface, getting some nice trevally with my 130 roller gun. Some good long shots and some beautiful trevally to take home. Top eating fish. That's basically uh, the end of my day really of diving. <laughs> A shame but um hey lucky we got on board with the kingy before i lost the belt and here we got some fish so absolutely beautiful scenes got my little fishing rod my little pen um battle free little soft rod it's nice beautiful little rod just got a little lure on here whoa Big kings under there. Really? Alright. Thanks about the foul hook. <laughs> foul hooked it. Sweet. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. 
just casting this into the school instant hookup. <laughs> Lost it. I think I'm just fell hooking them. <laughs> Crazy. Woo. Well, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> oh, are we on or off? Woo! -hoo. Oh, it's off. Holy wow. Woohoo. Yeah. All right, we're on. What have we got? <laughs> Kingies chasing it. Look at them. Look at this. Nice wee Trevelli. All right. Well, I'm a better spear fisherman than a rod fisherman. They won't take my lure. Must have got lucky before. Anyways, we've got some nice Trevelli on board. Let's see what we've got in here. All right, we've got some nice, nice fish. A goodie. Another nice fish. See here, we've got about five Trevelli in there. And our kingy, so plenty of fish. Scallop season opening tomorrow, so we're having a bit of a um, barbecue and feast tomorrow afternoon. So, a bit of a seafood bonanza fresh kingy, trevally, scallies, hopefully. To top it off, it'd be great to have some craze. So, I'm gonna go in shallow somewhere and um, see what I can do. Might have to. Uh, brave the cold and take this jacket off because it's almost impossible to dive down with this on without the weight belt but a bit gutted about it shoot into the coast see if we can find a cray or two hopefully there's some up in two meters of water um, and if not all good i just picked up a uh, gas cob grill so New one for me, I'm just getting the sausies going and cruise the next spot and hopefully they're done when I get there. It's the cob grill, gas option. And I've got some uh, nice home cool venison sausage, so it's gonna be beautiful. Only halfway over and um, yeah, beautifully cooked. Yum. Venison, honey and mint. And rosemary. Go the cob. Mm. Right, jumping in and water looks clean as you can see all the reef in there. Beautiful. Try my luck for a bit. See if I can get down and past a meter and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to finish off with a cray. Even without a weight belt and being extremely difficult to make my way down, being so buoyant, I'm pretty keen for a crayfish. So I managed to drag myself down a few meters, holding onto the rocks, kelp, whatever I can. Find a piece of alloy here, a bit of rubbish, along with a cray shell that's been shed. Nice and clean and shallow. Keep hunting, there's got to be a crayfish somewhere. Red Moki here, usually a good sign of some caves nearby, potentially crayfish. I keep hunting and finally I find a red crayfish, but unfortunately she's in berry holding eggs so 
she goes back. Then I find this piece of rock covered in the most fluorescent plant life. It is beautiful. Bright fluorescent blues, greens, yellows. Very cool. Write a comment if you know the name of this. Stunning marine plant. But no craze. So it's time to call it. Another mission done on the little senator. Good day out. Can't complain for some pretty action packed winter diving. Uh, no luck on the craze, but um, all good. Nice and warm. Time to get this on the trailer, get on the road, get a hot coffee, and uh, get home. Stick around if you want to see a bit of a fillet session and a cook up. Uh, a few recipes with this fish. Yeah, that's it for now. See you at home. Alright guys, back from the trip. It's actually two days later and uh, man, these Icy Tech chili bins are insane. Two days later and it's just still icy cold in there. Beautiful, kingy. Beautifully chilled down so we'll get that filleted. It is the tail end of winter, so not super hot outside but still impressive these, these bins. So if you're looking for a good esky, Check out these icy techs, insane. Really, really highly recommend. All right, let's fill it you up. All right, very nice and stiff, set perfectly. Alright, there's one fillet. It looks really, really good condition. Awesome, nice and firm. You know when it's set well, it just starts to separate here. You can basically run your hand in there and separate this loin part. So that's really nice and firm. Going to be excellent eating. Alright, we'll get this other fillet off and then we will stake it all up. Here's our nice two big kingy fillets. I've got the wings there, got the frame there. I'm just gonna get this guts off. So we've got head and frame for a smoker. And uh, yeah, plenty of meat. I'll quickly show you how I finish the filleting process. All right, so basically once we've got our main fillet off, we've got the spine running right down the middle there. And it's usually got a bit of a, a bloodline with it, about a centimeter. So I'm just gonna slice down either side of that, remove that, and then we can basically whack into big portions, skin off and uh, good to go. So we've still got a bit of blood, blood on there, for me I don't like it, it doesn't taste very good but more importantly um, as I've all freeze a few chunks and kingfish freezes pretty well in my opinion if prepared right so need to get all that blood off every little bit and you won't get that fishiness once you pull it out of the freezer. Bloody pump. Pretty good. The kingfish was well and truly utilised, shared with family and friends. Lots of delicious meals including a beautiful ceviche here, coconut milk. 
the wings baked in the oven with some herbs and spices, one of my favourite parts of the fish. Absolutely delicious. You can see the fat content in the fish here. We had sashimi, we had all sorts of dishes. Lovely, fresh kingfish. One of my favourite fish, hard to beat. And wow, you get a lot of meat. Cheers for coming along on another Primal Pursuit adventure. Hope you liked that one. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button to see more videos. Support the channel. If you want some merch, help fund these adventures, check out primalpursuit.co.nz. Other than that, see you on the next adventure. Cheers.